so I've got my chai latte. We're gonna start this vlog. Let's get into it. Hi everybody, my name is Natalie and welcome back to another start of the vlog. Happy Wednesday. I know Wednesday is kind of a weird day to start a weekly vlog, but I don't know, I'm kind of feeling it. My last vlog started on a Wednesday and I don't know. I just really liked it. I felt like it was like kind of like nice in the middle of the week because I feel like I have more time starting Wednesday to actually do things. Monday and Tuesday are just kind of hectic and I'd rather them sit at the end of like the week in a vlog versus like starting it because then it just kind of feels like chaos starting a vlog. So we're gonna try starting on Wednesday and see how it goes. I wanted to start off this vlog by just kind of going through what I would like to read over the next week. I have kind of ambitious reading goals. I feel like I'm starting to like want to start fitting reading more into my schedule and I'm really excited for that. So we're gonna start that. So currently physically reading still The Helm of Midnight by Marina Lostetter. This is kind of, I'm still in that phase where I don't really know how I feel about it. I'm just kind of waiting for it all to come together to be perfectly honest. I am almost halfway through this book and I don't know, I just feel like I have really mixed feelings about this book and I feel like it's because it kind of falls in the middle of like a mystery thriller and a fantasy, which is something that I have not encountered before. Normally whenever it's kind of like between genres, it's like a romance fantasy where you have like romance and that's kind of like the standout part of the book and the fantasy is there, but it takes more of a back seat. This one isn't like that. And I think that that's what I was expecting going into this was that it was gonna be more of a mystery thriller, but the fantasy was just gonna be there. And I feel like that's not what's happening. The fantasy is definitely like front and center. It almost feels like, and it almost feels like the mystery thriller part is kind of taking the back seat, which is very odd because I feel like that's like the main plot line. So I don't know, it's kind of, again, I'm just like, I am undecided on how I feel about it. Like I love the writing, I love the world, and I'm intrigued about like everything that I'm learning about this world, but also like as far as the plot, nothing is really happening. And I wish that that was moving forward as, I wish that that was moving forward at the same pace as the like world building is and it's just not. So hopefully that'll kind of like switch gears soon. We'll see, I wanna get more into it. I wanna read a little bit more this week. But again, I just like don't know how I feel about it. So that's still on my TBR. I want to get it read, I wanna get it finished. As far as audiobooks, I am still listening to the Trouble with Hating You by Sajani Patel. Really, really loving this audiobook. It is just like so fun. I love the characters so far. I'm about halfway through, so I do want to finish that at some point this week. I have some more work days, so I'll be listening to it while I'm working. But it's just like, it's just such a fun fantasy. It is exactly what I needed as like an audiobook to listen to, so. Really excited I picked it up. As far as other audiobooks, kind of like next in line, I do have two other audiobooks that are checked out. I have Caraval by Stephanie Garber, and then I have Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. I do own both of those, and I kind of want to get into the mindset of potentially trying to read some of my super backlisted books uh, via audiobook, like books that I've been on my TBR forever, that I've owned forever, and not necessarily sure that I'm gonna get around to anytime soon, if ever. So I figured I would try going the audiobook route with some of those. Caravel is probably the one that I will read next just because that one has been sitting forever. Plain, but Plain Bad Heroines has not been on my TBR for very long. I'm pretty sure it's a newer book. So that's not a backlisted one as much as Caravel is. <laughs> um, so I really wanna start get I really wanna start getting some of those older YA books on my TBR read. And I feel like the only way I'm gonna be able to like start doing that is if I kind of have some help with the audiobooks. So that is kind of my audiobook plans for the week. Um, I did start an ebook 
last night. Um, and it is a romance because I want to read romance. So uh, it's called Scoring Wilder by, who is this by? By R.S. Gray. So this is a sports romance. It's a soccer romance where the main character just got into college, I'm pretty sure. So she's a freshman on the soccer team and this really famous soccer player is assistant coaching for her soccer team and it's their romance. So, so far I'm really enjoying it. It's a fun story and I'm gonna continue reading that throughout the week. Um, as far as like the, phys the next physical book that I wanna read, it's definitely gonna be a romance. I said that, I've, I've said it a lot of times, so that's what I'm reading next. It is between The Deal with the Elf King by Liz Kova or Electric Idol by Katie Robert. Um, I have a couple of books coming in from Amazon throughout the rest of the week because I can't stop, won't stop buying books. What's new? So those are my TBR plans for the week. It's ambitious. I've still got school. I've still got to do all of that stuff. So I don't actually know how much reading I'm going to be able to get to. But I think by letting myself read romance and get and fall more into that, I think I'm going to start reading more. Um, I just need to like stop pushing myself to read fantasy if it's not something that I feel like reading right now. And I just need to be okay with that. It is this lady's birthday. Not this one. He wants attention. But it's Bryce's birthday. She's a year old now. So the thing about her birthday is, is that I don't actually know when exactly her birthday is uh, since she was adopted. They just kind of gave me like the best guess of her birthday, which was supposed to be January 25th. And being that it was so close to January 27th, which is my half birthday, I decided to just move her birthday to January 27th. I thought that it would be super cute. Um, since I don't really know the exact day she was born on, but yeah, she is freaking a year old, which is insane. So that's tomorrow, but I'm actually gonna, you know, celebrate a little bit today because I, I feel like tomorrow is gonna be a hectic day because we've got like the apartment coming to check the, the fire safety thing, which is like super annoying. And I just like wish that they would not um, like I understand like why they're doing it, but it's also very annoying. But maybe I should put all the dogs on my lease, but also I'm moving in like four months, so not doing that. to sit down and get some reading done but I got a book in today that I really want to start so I'm gonna do that I'm going to just do what I want to do <laughs> um so I'm gonna start Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin I yeah I'm really excited to read this one I've been hearing about this one for a while and then um this was actually one of the books that I bought for my Secret Santa um and ever since I bought that for her, I really wanted it for myself so that I could read it as well. So I'm gonna start this tonight. I just, I'm in such a romance mood. I think I just like wanna put The Helm of Midnight down for a little bit because I don't wanna get into a reading slump again. It's not that I'm not like enjoying it, but I just think that right now I want something a little bit more fast paced and that one is just like a little bit slow for me. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and like allow myself to read it at a slower pace so I'll probably pick that up every now and then um instead of it just being the only book that I'm reading so yeah I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this tonight I'm, I'm really excited so 
I'm just gonna chill in bed and be lazy and that's pretty much it so I will let y'all know what I think of this one whenever I get into it but it is a historical romance and I'm pretty sure it deals with like a pirate so I'm pretty sure it's like a pirate historical romance but either way I'm excited I've never read anything by Pam Godwin Saturday. I just washed my hair. Sorry. It's kind of a mess. It always is kind of super crazy after I wash it, but it is what it is. So it's Saturday. It is almost one o'clock. So I didn't vlog yesterday because yesterday was really just like a work day. I was trying to get a lot of the things done yesterday that I needed to do throughout the weekend so that I could just kind of relax and read this weekend and I did. I got all of my work done. I got all of my homework done. So now I get to just kind of like chill this weekend. Um, I'm a little bit ahead on my homework, which is great. And thank goodness it kind of feels great to go into like a weekend during the semester and not really have much to do. So I'm excited for that. So I'm still reading Sea of Ruin. I've been reading it for the past couple of days. Um, like I said, I didn't really do a lot of reading yesterday, um, but I am a decent way in. I'm on page 68, and this book was <laughs> is not what I expected. Um, I feel like the first 50 pages were kind of like a little bit of an origin story, kind of like where everything started for the main character, and we're finally starting to get into the timeline where she is older and she's a captain and things are starting to happen in that and I'm really liking it so far it is pr it was pretty it was a pretty brutal like start like this girl has been through so much and I feel I feel for her but like man like I was not expecting that much to happen in the first 50 pages but it makes sense why it all like did happen because that like was just kind of showing like where everything started and how she got to where she is now so i am gonna keep reading today and i'm hoping to make a lot of progress in this one today which i'm really excited about i don't have much else to do i think i'm just gonna go visit my friend because i haven't seen her in like oh gosh a while like a month probably so it's been a while so i'm gonna go visit her and yeah that's gonna be my day it's gonna be really chill because i did all of my stuff yesterday and i'm so happy hey guys so it's sunday um please ignore the dishwasher that is currently going to background i'm sorry but i was cleaning gotta get stuff done on this sunday so 
I am still reading Sea of Ruin. I am slowly but surely making my way through this. I am now on page 250, so I've made some pretty good progress this weekend. Um, like, I'm getting through it pretty quickly and I'm really happy with it. I am really enjoying this. This is definitely a lot more slow burn than I was anticipating. Um, like, it took, I feel like it took almost 100 pages for the main character to get, like, um, arrested and it, it just it's very slow burn and I'm really enjoying it it's a fun story I love the main character um, both of the guys are very interesting love interests so I'm interested to see how everything is gonna play out so I'm gonna keep reading this for the rest of the night I was just kind of cleaning up around the apartment and trying to get things in order for the week so I'm gonna see if I can make some decent progress in this tonight i don't know that i will actually finish it um i'm reading it pretty slowly and it's a like it's a big book so how many pages are in this there's 400 and 55 so i'm almost at the point where there's 200 pages left so i'm just gonna keep reading this the rest of the night and that's kind of my plans i just kind of wanted to update y'all since i'm a little bit over halfway through this book just kind of like my thoughts and overall i'm really enjoying it it's a fun time but yeah super slow burn was not expecting that but i suppose i should have with a book this lengthy um i should have expected that right off the bat i don't know why i didn't i look like a i don't even know i don't know what this look is but it's cozy so that's what we're going for I wanted to do a quick update um it is wednesday which normally i would end this vlog on tuesday and that'd be the last day but i think i'm gonna go ahead and extend it just because i haven't really done a lot like i feel like i've been reading the same book since last week so i'm gonna keep this going and maybe turn this into a two-week vlog i think that's what i'm gonna do so i'm still reading sea of ruin and i am on page 313 so I I got to this part in the book where it was just like really difficult to read just because of the content and I just kind of had to set it down for like a day or two and just like <laughs> not read that part for like a little bit um but it it did resolve I guess I don't even know if that's the word to use but it got past it pretty quick once I picked it back up um thank goodness because it was just like i didn't want to read about that it was just like a really like a really dark part in the book and just something really bad that happens to the main character um and i just like i don't know i guess i didn't really understand why that app, like that needed to be in the book so i wasn't crazy about that um yeah it's just like uh, there is a trigger warning for for rape in case y'all are wondering um yeah, and I'll, I don't even know if it's like a spoiler. Under different circumstances, there are two different circumstances. And I just like felt like it wasn't totally necessary for either of them to happen. I think that like, it didn't really progress the relationship in one way. Maybe, you know, the main character came to like a conclusion and had a shift in like, thinking about life i don't know i don't really know the point of it but i really would have preferred that this didn't have like it was just very random very quick um so i didn't understand the necessity for it uh yeah so i'm hoping to finish this in the next couple of days um i have i guess close to 150 pages left i really want to power through that i'm currently tuning into olivia over at olivia reads a lot tastes sprint she um did some impromptu sprints tonight so i'm just gonna read tonight i'm making dinner i'm just gonna chill waiting to see if it's gonna ice in texas tonight i have no idea maybe i'll get to like work from home tomorrow and just it be like a chill day um we'll see I don't know, but tomorrow's probably gonna be a homework day because I think I wanna try to get all my homework done before Friday so that I don't have to do any homework Friday. But I'm gonna read this because I wanna finish this. I am enjoying it, it's just that part that just happened like really threw me off. So 
I want to see what's going to happen next and like how it's going to go and just what's going to happen with all of these characters that are potentially coming together. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to go read for the rest of the sprint that is currently happening. And yeah, that's going to be my night. So I've definitely been covering my bad hair days lately with beanies. Love that for me. So it is, oh, it is Friday and I have finally finished Sea of Ruin. So let's talk about it. This took me kind of a while to read and I really wanted to have it done like a couple of days ago to be perfectly honest. Like I didn't want it to like drag on into like Friday evening. But I finally got it done. It took me forever to get like through the last 100 pages because I just like wanted it to be done. So I, <laughs> mm, I didn't really like this book. Um, and I, I don't know like at what point I stopped liking it because I was liking it at the beginning. I was like, okay, like I'm into this, this is great, this is cool. But I feel like there were certain things that happened in this book that I didn't really feel like were absolutely necessary to progress the, the story. And it wasn't like one instance, because I feel like for me, like one instance, like, okay, like I can handle like one incident of like something happening. But like there were just some like really like <laughs> unnecessarily brutal things that happened to our main character. And it was like not just like one time one instance like it happened like multiple times so i feel like that really just like once that started happening i was just like okay like i want this part to be over because i feel like the first half was romance and then the second half was our main character just like going through it and like being brutalized and i was just like i don't want to read about this so i feel like I, I I just wish like all that wouldn't have happened because I feel like once that started happening I just like started like not enjoying the book because it, like those things are just not enjoyable to read about when they go on for like half of the book and it just like feels like it's never ending it's just like you think it ends and then another thing happens and you're just like okay so I feel like all of that happening like took away from the book because of how many times or took away from the relationship because of how many times it did happen and I don't know I just like by the end of it I really just wanted it to be done and the last hundred pages were just like really really hard for me to get through they were really slow not a lot happened this book was far too long for me it was 450 pages and I feel like the first hundred you know she didn't get captured until 100 pages in and then the last 100 pages were just like trying to wrap everything up but that's a really long wrap up 100 pages for romance is a really long wrap up so i just i wasn't crazy about it i'm really sad because i thought i was gonna love this book but it just like didn't it didn't hit for me i feel like if i had been more invested in the relationship by the time the main character like things started happening to the main character and she started going through like all of that shit that she was going through i feel like i would have been more on board but they're just like i wasn't as invested as it, i wasn't as invested in the relationship as i needed to be at that point so i think that that's why i just didn't care for it um like i wasn't invested in either of the relationships that were happening in this book because there are two guys in this book two love interests so unfortunately I just I didn't like it and I'm glad it's over and it happens and I'm really sad about that though because I just have not been picking winners starting out this year which really sucks and worries me because I do not want to get into a reading slump again because I just obviously don't so I I don't know this sucks anyway um <laughs> so we're moving on we're moving on from Sea of Ruin and I am going to like just like move forward and this is what's gonna happen so i went to Barnes noble today of course me and my boyfriend like just won't stop um so we were just like we want to celebrate today because some we had some good news today and we're like let's celebrate and go to Barnes noble um <laughs> which i'm glad that he's so down for 
so we both bought three books each um so i'll quickly show y'all my three and then i'll talk to y'all about like my reading plans going forward for the rest of the weekend um i probably am gonna still take this vlog till tuesday so it'll be a two-week vlog um i probably won't finish a book in that time but i will start other books so first of all let me show you what i got from Barnes noble so i feel like i got like a really good mix of <laughs> genres this time normally i like go into Barnes and noble and i like buy like within the same genre but like they're all from like different genres um so the first one i got was the spanish love deception by elena armas this is one that has been really popular lately i think this was like a big book talk hit um i'm not on book talk i don't i'm i'm actually not on tiktok i don't have the app can't do that because it will literally take over my life but I have heard a lot about this. This is a fake dating romance, I believe. And I've heard people love it. I hear that it's really addicting read and that's kind of like the type of romance that I really want to be reading right now. So I decided to pick it up because I saw it at Barnes & Noble. I do believe that this got picked up. I believe it was an indie published book first and then because of the popularity, I believe it did get picked up by a traditional public publishing house. And I think that's why it was at Barnes & Noble. I believe um so yeah i'm really excited for this one it's so cute so yeah i'm really excited to read this one don't know when i'm gonna read it but mm, i feel like i like lost out on my chance with reading romance so now i don't want to read romance because the romance that i picked up just like wasn't the right romance the next one i got is a ya fantasy that i have heard nothing about i just was browsing the ya section because a lot of the times i just like to go and browse and see what's new but this one i have never heard of but i don't know the cover and the cover colors really caught my eye and it's called castles in their bones and this is by laura sebastian um i just thought this was a really really gorgeous cover so i decided to read the synopsis and then i looked at the ratings on goodreads and it has pretty pretty good ratings i don't know how long it's been out but yeah so basically this one is about these three triplets i believe and they are kind of going into these positions where they are about to like get sent out to marry princes and become queens and all of that like that's kind of like what they've been waiting for their coming of age and like that's the next step for them but they have been trained their entire life to basically like overtake a monarchy and that's kind of like what they're going to do they are going into these kingdoms marrying these princes with the sole purpose of taking over the kingdom so I had to get it um love it i have no idea if it's like multiple point of views if it's going to be from the point of view of like all of the sisters or if it's just going to be one i have no idea i have a feeling it's going to be multiple perspective but i didn't get that far in my investigation of that book but it sounded good so i'm excited to read it the last one that i picked up was one that i really wanted i actually almost bought this the week before but i restrained myself and this week i was like you know what i'm here i'm just gonna go ahead and buy it and that is daughter of the moon goddess by su lin tan and the guys first of all this cover is freaking gorgeous like i like the cover was really what caught my eye and then i read the synopsis and it just sounds really good so um basically it's about this this girl who grew up on the moon and she has magic and i guess because of that she's forced to like run away from home um and yeah it's just i i don't i don't really know what it's about but it sounded really really good when i read the synopsis so i'm excited to read this one i actually think that i am going to start this one next um just because it just sounds super good and i'm really excited about this one now that i finally have my hands on it so i think i'm actually going to pick that one up next so now that i started talking about that book let's go ahead and like start talking about you know my reading plans for the rest of the weekend so i'm still reading the helm of midnight um by marina 
lost at her. I do want to continue in this. I don't want it to be like my main read though. I'm not just going to read this. I think I want to read a couple of chapters tonight and just kind of like slowly continue my way through this book. I don't think this is like a main read kind of book for me just because of like the way that it's written and the pacing. So I do want to continue on with this, but it's going to be at a slower pace and it's not going to be the only thing I'm reading because I feel like if I do that, I will be reading it forever. And after the whole Sea of Ruin thing, I don't want to be reading one book forever. Like I got to mix it up. Then I need to start House of Earth and Blood. Um, the reread that I want to do before House of Sky and Breath comes out, which comes out in less than two weeks. So I've got to get on it. So I'm going to start this one again. This isn't really going to be a main read. It's going to be like, I'm trying to read like, I don't know, 50 pages a night. Um, something like that. Um, uh, but by no means it's going to be like the only book that I'm, I'm reading. So I want to start that at some point this weekend and then i do think my main read is going to be daughter of the moon goddess so i'm really excited to start this one i'll let you know how it goes but that's um we're getting back into fantasy i think i am still listening to the audiobook and the trouble with hating you and i think i'm still at the 50 percent mark i really need to go back to listening to that i've been went back to listening to podcasts this week and I don't know I think I just like need to switch back and forth so I think coming up this next week maybe I'll go back to listening to the audiobook and get that knocked out but yeah so these are the books that are on my TBR for this weekend um, like I said I don't plan on finishing anything by the end of this vlog but I do want to get started in these three books well I'm already started the Helm of Midnight but I want to make more progress in the Helm of Midnight and then I want to start um, House of Earth and Blood and Daughter of the Moon Goddess so I I'm gonna go do one of those things. I have no idea which one I'm actually gonna start with tonight, but it's gonna be one of these. It's gonna be from the stack. So I'm gonna go, go do that and just try to get into something that I really just love. Today is the day that I finally finished this vlog. Even though I have not vlogged all freaking weekend. Are you live? Am I live? Are you talking? No, are you like... Am I recording? recording? Yes. Okay. Got it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I should have said action. <laughs> so... What? Oh my gosh. Seen one? You just... Dropped food on my laptop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't vlog all weekend. I didn't really do as much reading as I wanted to, but I did a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of let y'all know where I left off, and then that's gonna be the end of this vlog. So I did start Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Suli Tan, or sorry, Sulin Tan, and I am 80. 283 pages into this one and i'm actually really really enjoying this one this one is really easy to get into and i really like the the writing style i don't know like how i feel about like the characters and kind of like the journey but so far i'm interested enough to keep going i am hoping there is a little bit more development in the characters because the beginning did happen very very fast it was like bam two chapters like months have passed so it was very abrupt at the beginning and i'm hoping that as the pace slows down there will be more time taken to develop like relationships just because at the beginning there is you know a little bit of kind of a relationship between this girl and her mom who is obviously the moon goddess and it was very brief so whenever the separation happened between those two characters i didn't really like feel anything for it i was just like oh okay like it's this is just like a little stepping stone type scene but i'm hoping that that kind of shifts and changes i do want to get more invested in these characters as the book goes on so i'm hoping that once i get more into it that'll happen i did also start house of earth and blood the reread that i want to do um i got not very far in 
but I also decided that I'm going to do a reread spoilery vlog for this one. So I'm not really gonna talk about it, mostly because I'm barely 20 pages in, so y'all will hear my thoughts in full in a different video. But that is all the reading I did for this weekend. Um, this was the first week like going to campus, so it's been a little bit of a rough start, but hopefully I can, you know, take some time, sit down and read throughout this next week. But that is all for this vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all next one. Bye.